It was a picture that captured the pain and anguish on the front lines, as a Houston doctor gave a moment's comfort amid so much uncertainty. He tells me, I want to be with my wife. And man, when he said, I want to be with my wife, I just embrace him, I just hug him, and eventually he stopped crying. At United Memorial in Houston, three quarters of their beds are for COVID patients, a number that grows every day. My nurses cry in the middle of the day. They do so because, you know, they finish with one patient and then they have three more coming in. The United States is now seeing more patients in hospital with COVID-19 than at any other time in the pandemic. In Rhode Island, they've opened two field hospitals to boost capacity. In California, they expect hospitals to be at 112% capacity by Christmas. Where are the rest of the patients going to go? I mean, we're going to get into a situation like New York, like Italy did, like Spain did. Amidst this, the CDC changed its guidance on quarantines, telling people they can leave after 10 days with no symptoms, seven days if they get a negative test. The hope is a shorter time frame may actually get more people to comply. We're only as strong as the weakest link. And unfortunately, that, there are a lot of places in the United States which have been pretty weak. The looming fear now, the combination of Thanksgiving and Christmas travel and the impact it could have. Having worked more than 250 consecutive days battling the virus, Dr. Varon is blunt when asked about people traveling and taking part in large holiday gatherings. I would like to slap them because because of people like them, the next six weeks are going to be the darkest weeks in modern American medical history. He says, mask up, keep your distance, stay home, so the next embrace he gives isn't someone you know. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.